want to learn how to use augmented reality to place your maps accurately? Stay tuned. Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to continue the Enterprise series by looking at a new feature just added to the Mavic 3 Enterprise, which is called Slope Route. So let's get to it. Slope Route is really a facade mapping tool, but with some added benefits that it allows you to pitch the map to any angle. This makes it great for things like a roof inspection on pitched roofs, and it also includes some pretty neat augmented reality that helps you visualize what you're about to capture. The first thing to know is that you must have RTK set up on the drone to work. Apparently, this is for safety reasons. I'm going to start with a simple facade of this building here. Start the slope feature as you would any other map by clicking on the route icon or go into the main menu and then selecting flight route. Then press the plus sign to start a new mission. Several options will appear, with the new one being slope route. Note that there's a tiny question mark next to the slope route option, and if you touch that, it will pull up some information on how to use this feature. The slope will be taken from the angle of the gimbal, so if you're recording a vertical wall, make sure that the gimbal angle is set to zero. I have a key on the controller set to do that, but you can also see it on the screen in this tiny little font. The initial mapping area is shown as a dashed square in the middle. Don't worry too much about this. We're going to adjust it later. Now position the drone so that the entire area you want to capture is in view and then press the C1 button to generate the initial slope. An image will be captured and moved to the bottom left hand corner and a blue overlay will show you the capture area. Now use the white dots to change the shape of the area that you want to capture. Note that you can touch the image captured to switch to this view and this has the advantage that you can pinch to zoom and make your adjustments much more precisely. You can also add additional points by clicking on the plus and dragging. And if you add a point by mistake, select it so that it turns blue and then touch the garbage can icon to delete it. Now that we have this set, we can confirm that it lines up with the building by flying to a location to get a better view. This is where the augmented reality comes in. In this case, I'm going to fly above the building and look down at it. If it needs adjustment, touch the words slide slash rotate mapping area and a screen will open where you can make the adjustments. In my case, the overlay seems a bit beyond the wall, so I'm going to move it forward a bit by using the distance from slope to actual subject tools. I did want to mention that in a few of my tests, the facade was very far away from where it should have been, and this took quite a bit of adjusting to correct. Now I'm going to reposition to make sure the overlay still covers the area I'm interested in, and then press the blue check mark to confirm the boundaries and location of the mapping area. The view in the corner will now switch, showing green lines where the flight route will be. In our case, we only have one line, and this is because our distance is too far back from the facade. So it only needs to capture one set of photos. We're going to touch the image in the corner to open the mapping parameters. Here we can see that the distance to slope is set to 122 feet, but we want this to be nice and close. So I'm going to change that to 25 feet. Now you can see that we have multiple passes across the front of the building. And note that you can choose to switch the capture from horizontal to vertical, but in our case, horizontal is where we want to be. So I'm going to just tap the save icon. Now I'm going to switch back to the camera view and start the mission in the usual way by pressing the play button. In this case, I want de-warping turned on as I will be providing the photos to someone and we don't want those curved edges. And then we press start. It executes the mission, Moving flying back and point. forth, capturing photos. You can see the progress in the window in the bottom left. And that's it. We've captured our first slope route. But wait, where's the slope? OK, let's cover that now. I'll move over to this building here where we will capture part of the roof. As before, I'm going to start by positioning the drone so that the area to be captured is in shot. 
Note that in this case, I have the gimbal angled down and the initial angle of the slope will be set to the gimbal angle. So if you know the slope you need, set the gimbal angle first and then frame the area. In this case, I don't know the angle here, so we'll capture and adjust later. Now, as before, press C1 and set the area to be captured. Now I'm going to fly to a position where I can check that the route has been overlaid onto the roof correctly. But in our case, it seems like the actual route is quite far away from the roof. So as before, I'm going to use the distance from slope to actual subject tools to bring it closer to the roof. Now that it's closer to the roof, we can see the angle does not match the roof angle. So let's adjust that. I'm going to use the Y adjustment to change the pitch angle until it matches. Then, as before, touch the blue check mark to confirm the boundaries and location of the mapping area. You can see in the bottom corner the updated flight route and area. Now that we moved it closer, the area has shrunk quite a bit, so we're going to have to adjust that. So tap Readjust Mapping Area, and then we're going to select the picture for the adjustment since it means we don't have to reposition the drone to do it. Then press the blue check mark again. You can now see our coverage and mapping area look good. Now tap the image in the bottom left hand corner and we're going to adjust the route parameters. Our distance to slope is showing as 35, which is fine for what we need here. But I want to slow it down because there are some trees around and I would prefer to be a little safer. Now save it and press the play button. As before, it goes through its usual checks. Again, we'll be turning on de-warping as we will be providing individual photos to the client. And then the Let capture runs point. as before. And that's it. Facade and slope route all captured with the help of augmented reality. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Remember to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.